know. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's Teresa with Wreath Addiction RN. Thanks for joining me again. Here we are. Okay. So, um, I had leftover mesh. I'm hoping that's enough. And I have 10 pipe cleaners on here. Oh. I probably slammed it down a couple times a little too hard. Let's see where my glue got that. That is not going to make a difference on this. I'm just going to do it so it doesn't sliver. Hello, Linda. How are you? Hi, Peggy. Okay. Good to go. All right. So, um, so anyway, so there's 10. And um, so, like I said, this is leftover mesh from another project. So we're going to use this black mesh. I've got candy corn ribbon and this uh, striped ribbon that's got all the colors for candy corn in it. go ahead and tie this but I will be coming back around to this uh, section we're gonna do probably about 10 maybe 10 to 11 you want my blessing my page we're only what? When did I type? 70 something people away from 5,000? Woohoo! And we can do a giveaway for a ribbon. 21 inch. It's 21 inch. It's leftover that I had. This is 21 inch and I'm making 10, about 11 inch poofs. Hi Jamie, how are you? And it's, it's like, um, a window pane mesh. It's it's not solid. You can see, you know, you can see that it's got the window pane in it. looks like more on the roll, don't it? This is two five gallon paint sticks stapled together and glued together. Okay. 
channel. Thanks for joining me again. I do. I have mesh and multiple miscellaneous things and wreaths as well. Um, I'm Wreath Addiction RN and um, I have some wreath kits on there. I have some wreath attachments on there. Hi Patsy, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> Jessica, how are you? Thank you, Sheena, for sharing, sprinkling, blessing my page. Good, good, I'm so glad another Jessica. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Hey Sheena, do you have a moment to post my Etsy page? Or if you don't, I can. Yep. I staple the chenille stems to the stick. Can you see that? They're about four inches apart. And I just use my, my mat here and they don't have to be perfect. Hi, Kathy. This candy corn came from um, Ranch House. Uh, Reef Supplies, I think is what she's called. Um, he's doing much better. He finally went back to work. Um, thank you, dear. I appreciate it. There's my Etsy shop. Um, but I got these two years ago and I just could never figure out what to use them with. Hey Debbie, how are you? So I just could never figure out what I wanted to do with them. So finally, I think I've figured it out. <laughs> I hope. I hope I have enough mesh too. So, yeah. So how is everybody? There's so many different ways that you can put the pipe cleaners on too, you know, it, um, it doesn't matter. Did I pin the wrong comment? I did. And, and pin. And pin. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm getting a um, sugar skull uh, sign from her. I got an order for a sugar skull wreath, so she's making me a sign for that. So. Oh, congratulations! Is it, that's good news. Now you get to plan a wedding. favorite place to get supplies? Well, for myself. <laughs> and um, I get my ribbon, most of my ribbon, 90% of my ribbon from Amanda from Grammy's Craft Boutique. And I get most of my signs from Amanda as well. Her and Rachel. Rachel uh, paints signs, hand painted signs. So I get signs from Rachel. Um, but I sell mesh. And um, then I just get stuff from Michaels and 
things like that. Oh, that's cool. Where do you live at, J Jamie? I don't get mesh from, I very rarely get mesh from anywhere else, but uh, from my supplier because it's the be better mesh. Denver, Colorado. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining. And then I had another um, person from my hometown send me a message that she's seen some of my work pocket pop up in her Facebook feed and she'd like to get a fall wreath. So. You're new to making wreaths. Well, nothing wrong with that. We're all started somewhere. We all started somewhere. Do you watch YouTube videos? I have YouTube channel. You know, there's several of us that have YouTube channels. Mine's Wreath Addiction RN, just like my Facebook page. Now we greatly appreciate it if you would like my page. I'm trying to get to 5,000 followers. I only need like 70 something more. And when we say blessed, that means hit the share button and share my video on your page. That's what that means. That's how we, uh, you know, we come a little bit well more well known and helps us with our business. Do you do lives, Jamie? What if who doesn't like it? I post everything. going to be fine, Jessica. You're going to be fine. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you for blessing my page. Now you're nervous. She's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. That's fun. But I was that same way. Nervous and excited. Right? Nervous and excited. good. That's a good goal. I mean, and that's, that, uh, not everybody wants to do it as a business, you know. Um, I just, I do, and several of my friends do, so um, it does become addicting, you know, though, buying supplies, and then, then you have to figure out how to keep buying supplies, and what are you going to do to pay the, pay for the supplies, <laughs> right? Because we are, I don't know. I don't know a wreath maker yet that once they got started that they couldn't stop buying supplies. <laughs> Just to decorate your front door. That's how I got started. That's exactly how I got started. I wanted to make one uh, wreath for my door for <laughs> for Christmas. I had no idea what I was doing. I bought this largest frame that you can ever imagine. This wreath was so big, I had to actually put it outside because it would not fit on my door at all. I mean, like it took up a wall. It's crazy. Oh, good. Me 
Amanda got a bunch of new ribbon in today. Actually, she got it yesterday, but she showed it today on a live. It is addicting. I literally, believe it or not, I have more stuff in my cart at the at-home store. I probably had $200 worth of stuff in my cart just at the at-home store. And I'm like, no, you don't even know what you have at home. So I made myself put it back. You believe it? I actually made myself do it. Oh, it is. It is, but if, once you find the right people and they value your work and they see the quality, then you'll find them. You'll find them. Don't sell yourself short. And um, because once you give all that discount to your friends, they always expect it sometimes. You know, I mean, there are certain people that I give discounts to. I have one good friend that. Um, I mean, they're just really good to us. And um, so I give her stuff, you know, not all the time, but once in a while, you know, I have something and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna give this to Pam, you know? So, oh yeah, I made it, made it all the way around. I sure will, Deb, thank you. Welcome. You have to treat yourself like a business in order to be a business, you know? So, but it's hard to have confidence in our work when we first start, too. So just keep doing it and you'll see. So I'm just going to staple this in here if I can, just because I don't want it to fray out. Normally on a regular, um, what's Amanda's page we're talking about? Debbie, would you, um, would you post Amanda's page, please? So Amanda's my business buddy. She's my bestie. And um, we don't live too far from each other. And we talk to each other a thousand times a day. And um, she's usually my buddy that keeps me awake on my ride home in the morning. I work midnights. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sheena, you gotta hide that. You gotta hide that from him, dear. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, but you have to tell him you're selling stuff too. You're making money. That's funny though. So there's Amanda's shop. Um, it's Grammy's Craft Boutique. But like I said, Amanda's my bestie. We, we worked out um, a plan for us, like I was going to sell mesh and she was going to sell ribbon. So that's pretty much what we do. And um, it's a good business deal for us. Yes, she is a great friend. So we support each other in that way. And, uh, in fact, she just put an order in for mesh for me, and I put an order in for a ribbon from her. <laughs> so, you know, that's how it goes. So, craziness. She got some really cute ribbon. And I'll go with a lot of my uh, 
cute mesh, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, I have a big pile of it, but this I'm not going to save because there's nothing I can do with this, so I'm getting rid of that. But yeah, I saved my leftover mesh. I probably had too much. I know I love this mesh too. It's really uh, very good to work with too. Very good to work with. Alright, so I already cut this. And I don't even remember because I cut it so long ago what I cut it at. So let's see. There's not very many rolls of this left in my shop. So cut it at 22. Hey, Sue Ann, how are you? not doing what I want it to do. Mm -hmm. Oh good, I'm glad. Is anybody else crafting? You're very welcome. I hope to see you again. So let's see how this is going to look. I was originally going to put the, um, I may rotate them like every other one, you know. Put the candy corn on top and then one time and then, uh, good night. That's cool. I think. Making a baby blanket. Due in April. Awesome. Can you guys see? Let me move this over out of the way now. I'm pink and purple, gal. Pink and purple. Love pink and purple. <laughs> oh, good. That's awesome. And amazing, amazing what you can find when you clean out the garage. <laughs> Awesome. 
Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. Alrighty. So how was the weather where you guys are at today? It was like, I don't know, one minute it was really humid and, cl and close, and then the next thing the wind was blowing. It did. It was raining, and then the sun was shining, and then it was raining again, and then the sun was shining, and it was crazy. Crazy today. Crazy weather today. Rain and gloom. It's hot in Denver. Ooh. I don't think we got it. We got up in the 80s. Cold and rainy in Washington State. And you found a whole box of craft supplies too. Wow, Sue. What a great day in the garage. It's awesome. I'm sure I'm going to find a ton of stuff whenever we, we're going to move the... Um, like shipping stuff upstairs so I have boxes and oh, I think I'm gonna see how much rooms up there but maybe move in the greenery that I have down here up there as well so I have more room down here I'm gonna try and hold off on getting a shed for a little bit it's not ready for a payment let's get some more business going some more steady business going so <laughs> Tomorrow is a Monday? No. Is it after midnight yet? No. Nope. Uh, do not work Monday. I go to work Tuesday. I'm hoping to be live tomorrow night. Why, what's going on tomorrow night, Sheena? Oh, man, people are getting ear infections a lot lately. You know? Um, uh, I'm going to wait on that. Amanda had an ear infection too. I had one. I've, I've never had an ear infection as an adult. Um, I think it's, are you wearing a lot of masks and stuff still, Jessica? Because I think it has to do with your bath. I'm sorry guys. I don't know why I'm yawning. You know, I was up for like two days. Got two and a half hours of sleep in two days. <laughs> I should be. So um, I have to go to a funeral first. I have to go to a wake. My uncle passed away. So I'm going to go to the wake and then I'm going to come home and I'll probably be live because I uh, I got to get I only have like four days before my craft show and I don't have any Christmas. I have plenty of probably Christmas wreaths but I want to get some Christmas swags done like this and then um, I also want to make a couple more um witch hats too so yeah hi Karen how are you so did anybody go to crafters convention or have a live stream ticket
I heard the next convention is in May, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, he was 92. Um, unfortunately, though, he did get COVID and he was vaccinated, but you know, he's also um, on dialysis. So he had some pre-existing conditions too, so. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. I mean, the other thing is, is if you think about it, I don't know if you've thought of this or not, but it's not, well, one, we're breathing in all of our own germs constantly, um, along with our bad breath, right? I eat more mints now than I've ever meant or chewed gum. I chew a lot of gum. But anyway, you have a live stream ticket. You just watch the videos from the people that attended. Yeah, I was going to get a live stream ticket and then I forgot, but he did say they're still available, so I don't know if I'll do that or not. I've got so many videos I want to watch, and I signed up for a Pinterest class. I haven't even gotten to do that yet, so um, i got to work on what's going to... After I get these shows done and get some stuff in my shop for Christmas, I'm going to be um, working on my Pinterest and stuff. Yeah, it's, you know, it was hard. Um, what was I going to say? I remember. But I've got lots to do. Lots, lots, lots. Well, you know, I just like, he was the last one, like, of my um, uncles, you know, like, so he was married to my dad's sister. Um, she passed away last year. She was the last one of the siblings. And then, um, so they're all up there. I'm sure we used to have the most craziest family reunions you can imagine. They always play cards and, you know, I mean, they were just very, um, I don't know. They were fun. They were super fun and outspoken. And, um, so I can just imagine them all up in heaven, you know, having a blast yelling at each other they're probably yelling at him you know uh, like what took you so long to get here you know <laughs> because you know I just I just think that you know like they're good they're having a good time um, my craft show is in Carlinville Illinois I still haven't heard about the Litchfield one and that's supposed to be on October the 10th so <laughs> So I don't know what's going on with that. I sent him an email. So. Uh, uh, uh no. Lots of work to set up for a craft show, lots. <laughs> um, I'm taking a class with uh, Serena. Um, it's called Pin It to Win It, I think is what it's called. Um, it started last week. I don't, I don't know if you can still get in or not. Um, the class was like $47, but um, like she just tells you why Pinterest is important and then she helps you with, you know, getting your pins uh, scheduled and stuff and I mean that's what I need to do is I need to schedule my stuff because I just don't have time to pin every day I wish I did so I need to get stuff scheduled out because then that will drive traffic to my Etsy shop so Well, this year I haven't, but um, in years past, before COVID, I did. I've only done two craft shows so this year, so just trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, so, like, I have three in October, and 
my husband and I are deciding whether it's going to be worth it for us to purchase a trailer, you know, an enclosed trailer. And I, right now we're borrowing my brother's. And I just, you know, we're going to keep doing it. Yeah, I want to have my own trailer because there's certain things we'd never take out of it, you know. Oh, I know. I bet. I know. It is so, it is so much work. It really is. The only good thing about doing this, this one on Saturday is that we won't unload anything because then I have the, a one next, the next Saturday and Sunday. So how did yours go, Marlene? Did it go good? I do have a lot of local uh, customers, though, anyway, so I have a lot of support from my hometown, which is just down the road. And uh, I have a lady that lives down the road the other direction. She buys a lot of stuff from me. I really don't know. Um, my husband's in charge of that, so I have no idea. Um, um, for some reason, I'm thinking my brother's is like 14 foot, I think. Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. You're in Louisville not far. Absolutely you're not. Yeah. I will. Um, like I said, we're waiting until after October to these shows to see if it's going to be, you know, worth it. If I sell a lot in October, then we're probably going to do a, uh, for next year, we will do a enclosed trailer. So... Oh no. Oh well that's good. I, I mean like my first year crafting I made um, I had two craft shows and I probably did uh, and I only did like two days worth. I probably did two thousand dollars. So no, they're outside. <laughs> it does absolutely. Usually about fifty. Fifty items usually is what I do. And it doesn't have to be all wreaths. So, you know, like, uh, I got a lantern over there. I'm going to make a lantern bow and probably put some stuff in it for a lantern swag. Um, let's see. I got some floral arrangements. So... That's about what I do, anyway. I 
I have one craft fair that's going to be indoors in October, and I'm not doing any in November. So. <laughs> So what are you thinking so far? and a baby. Oh, here he is. Let me put that one. Let me put a couple of them in the in the things and spread these two guys out just a little bit. What do you think? Why do you keep licking me, Lucy Lou? Hmm? I know. You want me to go upstairs and go to bed? I know. <coughs> no. No. We have to craft. We have a show. Yeah, we have a craft show. Oh my. Is that your baby's name is Lucy? What? 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 Okay, okay. That's enough. All right. I know you love me. I love you too. Stop. 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 tell she never gets <laughs> stop okay stop yeah she wants me to go to bed all right where's your blanket hmm look at your blanket <sighs> I know it I know I'll end up moving a blanket right over here and she'll lay on my feet while I work on some more stuff No, um, I got these from um, Ranch Health Resupplies a couple years ago. And I just never really, I don't know, just never, I love them, but I just never did. I tried to use them in a wreath and I'm like, no, oh, I didn't like that. So then um, I thought, I'm just going to wait until the right moment, so... And then all of a sudden it just kind of came to me for this project, so. She does. <laughs> yeah, she does. Oh, my husband says, like, when I'm, when I leave for work, she cries. And when I get home from work, she's like, oh my gosh. I, she won't even go outside right away when I get home from work. She's like, watches me. And I'm like, I, sometimes if I go stand outside, she'll come out. But she's so... Uh, not yet, but I am going to be working on some. Are you wanting something for fall for your one of your parents or both of your parents? And what colors are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. I have all kinds of fall stuff. Um, 
and fall. I mean, because you like mostly, you like some florals, and then you want some, um, and then ribbon, right? Is that pretty much what you were thinking like you did the last time? I have a lot of florals down here, um, and I have lots of fall ribbon. They usually, do you want, I have some um, pumpkins that I could put in it um, to kind of give it a little more fall festival thing, you know, fall looking, fall thing. It wouldn't be Halloween, they would just be pumpkins, they're um, uh, flocked or whatever you want to call them, so, yeah. Yes. When are you wanting it by Mickey? So I kind of know. Are you wanting it by like the beginning of October? What you need? Yeah, no, not Halloween, yeah. I had some really cute ones. Um, I wish I had some more of these little bitty ones. That would have been cute in the, in the bows, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll put it in the big bow. I don't know. We'll see. That would be good. Okay. All the glitter in this thing. All right. So let's see what we got here. I think this one is probably going to need one at the top and one down here. So, when you, where is that? In order to attach that, we don't want to glue that whole thing in there. Okay. Alrighty. I will uh, message you probably tomorrow around uh, later because I'm probably going to sleep in a little bit. Um, and then, of course, I got Uncle Frank's wake to go to tomorrow night. But anyway, um, and uh, show you some colors. And we'll go from there. So anyway, so I just take this. This is like a, um, a crochet needle, I guess, because people like that do um, granny squares or whatever in order to uh, sew them together. So I just pull this through. Sometimes I just make the whole, I don't know, let's see if I can get this through here, because I don't want to stretch it. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, there we go. See? So there's one, so that's going to attach, and then we're going to do one down here. This is the top. Only reason why I say this is going to be the top is because I'm going to put. Um, actually, I probably could do that now before I get everything on there. So I'm going to put a pipe cleaner on each side of that for the uh, hook, basically. usually try and remember to do this before I get all that stuff on there, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah, this RN, um, this 
not a suture person. I'll remove them. So there's the hook in order to put it on the door. All right. I'm putting this through the mesh. It's going to help secure it. So I'm just poking the pipe cleaner through there. remember where I'm putting him. Always startles me. <laughs> Thank you. I do. Fabric mesh is my favorite, um, for especially for uh, the the ten inch. Um, for the base, there's a lot of different ones. This is really a good one uh, to use. Um, I really don't have. I mean, I have some red and black or red red and white, and then black and white in my shop. I love those too. Oh, I know. I have a big dog toy that I got last two years, or now it'll be two years ago. I still haven't used it either, but it's a it's an ice cream cone for the Fourth of July. I'm gonna use two on this one too. So, um, but yeah, I like fabric mesh the best for for ten inch. I mean, it's really all good, but I like working with fabric mesh a lot. 
I don't like any kind of value mesh. I, if I buy, if I get it, it's because it, I got it on accident. Because I try not to, anything that says value mesh, I don't buy. Um, it's usually cheaper, and it looks cheaper too. So. No, um, I'm just twisting them together. Um, they seem to be pretty sturdy, uh, but sometimes I will take my stapler and go in there and staple the um, ties that I made to uh, the board, to the, to the paint stick, if I feel like it needs to be held down more. But this is really solid, so I'm, I'm not going to try and do that. This one may not be as solid, we'll see. But this is really secure. And I just twisted it real tight uh, to the mesh. Crazy. I'm not going to play around with it too much if I can't get it in this time. Char, thank you. I'm gonna try. I am gonna try and look at some, see what they have in stock. I'm gonna call tomorrow and see if they have any more of my order in that I'm waiting on. And if they do, I'm probably gonna add to my order on some of the in stock stuff as well. So I thought I'd try and get some spring stuff in. And a few more Christmas things and, you know, everyday stuff. So, I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in real quick. <clears throat> so, I want him like this. I moved him over. So here's one of the pipe cleaners, here's the other one. I'm going to pull it really tight down here, like so, and I'm going to just twist tie this together. And shove that down in there.
I'm doing the same thing on this one. So I put it there. Here's this poof. I got this from Ranch House uh, Resupplies, I think is what it's called. I got this from them a couple of years ago. I don't even know if they still sell this or not. That's where I got them from. I can't even imagine doing this tedious work. I had a hard enough time doing witch legs. Thank you, Sharon. How are you? Something just fell over. So I'm just going to use one on this guy. He's a tiny little one. Thanks for joining, Patty.
Thanks. A large one for 10. I can see where these little ones might need to be stapled because they're not as, um, I didn't put two things in them and um, they're not as big, so they're only on one. Um. <laughs> Cute. All right, I'm gonna oh, pull you back out. I need to straighten up all my ribbon tails, but Oh my God, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna probably see if I can. I was gonna fix the ribbon tails and check that out and see what else. If there's anything else I'm gonna put in there. But So if this is $10, I don't know what the small set was. But, so, it's probably $25 in candy corn on there. <laughs> That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sharon. Oh, Sharon, I'm so sorry. Ten. Use ten. They're about every four inches. Oh, you're praying for you, Sharon. I'm so sorry. Keep us updated on how your surgery goes. Hopefully that'll be what you need to make you feel better and give you some some quality of life back, huh? so too. Hope it's God's will. So anyway, that's what we were talking about was the mask. So when you think about your mask, I don't know, do you ever notice that when you breathe, like sometimes your breath goes back to your ears? Pay attention to that, because I noticed that with my mask, um, certain ones. It's a good group of people, right, Sharon? We do care, doggone it.
So I'll twist the, these pipe cleaners oh, that are on the, um, thank you. Yeah, that's what I think, Jessica. So, um, but I'll twist those and then I'll cut them down. But I just want to make sure that I'm not going to put any other things in there to um, add to it. So hang on one second. Okay, quit eating stuff down there. Get out of there. He's doing much better. He finally went back to work. Get out of there. What? Eating the junk. Yeah, Thor. Dog's name is George. <laughs> well, he has a brother named George. I, I don't think that would work. So there's a story behind Thor's name. So Cloyd's always wanted a boxer. So we got him the year I was graduating from RN school, 2014. And uh, I remember that because he sat. He was a puppy, and he sat with me while I was studying in the chair. So anyway, um, he's like, I need a dog, I need a masculine name for my dog, you know, the boxer. Okay, so I come up with Thor, like, fine, it's your dog. Um, <laughs> this dog is scared of everything. So, I'm like, yeah, what a masculine name. He might have a masculine name, but he's a chicken poo. You have to watch one of my lives when I was opening up the boxes from uh, the mesh. He got caught behind there. Oh yeah, definitely want to. He got caught behind the uh, boxes over by the washer and dryer. And he was having a cow. Having a cow. No problem. Thanks for joining, Marley. <laughs> hmm.
<laughs> right? I was laughing. I thought that was hilarious. I'm thinking maybe maybe This needs to be in a bigger wreath. I don't think this is going to be good in this size of a wreath, and I don't want to cut that down unless I'm going to use it. That's too big. Maybe he's too big. No, uh uh, I didn't. try go to the next one. I heard it wasn't Scott live earlier today and said that crafters come I missed well, some of it. The crafters convention is gonna be in May next year.
<laughs> oh, it's in July. Okay. You're probably right. I I did I, I missed it. I thought he's when's his birthday? Is his birthday in July? Says it's by his birthday. Oh, the week of his birthday. So do you think that sucker's too big? I kind of do. July 14th through the 16th. So I might use some of these as well, but I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in, another one of these in. Cute. Yeah. Some people can pull off designs like that. I, I'm not one of them. Or this isn't one of the designs you can pull that off in, I guess maybe is what I should say. It's a preference. Um, I mean, they are, uh, you get to meet a lot of different crafters in person, so that's kind of a, that was always fun, I thought. Um, I'd, um, I'd like to go to the next one, I think, I'm, but I'm close. Uh, just depends on how COVID is, you know, I think it's going to be getting better. I like going to Lori's wreath retreat because it's smaller and I do get a lot of more uh, attention like if I really need help with something or have questions on how something should you know like working on grapevines and stuff you know you get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention that way so when you're in the crafters convention and you're making stuff people go around and help you but you know some people work slower oh hi PJ did you get your stuff Um, I'm going to have to fiddle around with this. Tomorrow, good. I'm gonna have to figure out something. I need to go in and look at my shop settings or something because the the greenery is just showing up so expensive to ship. I don't get it. I know you do. I know you do. It'll happen. You'll be fine. I mean, you have to do it. Go at your own pace, dear. I 
Nancy, how are you? Right. Yep, yeah, it is. You're right. Absolutely. That's all right. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right. So what do we think? I may try and get those stuffed in there just a little bit more before I actually glue so that it's not like sticking out. Okay. How are you? I'm probably going to glue him down or something. Hey, Patsy. <laughs> no, PJ, I got these from um, Ranch House Resupplies, and they only have the large one now. Debbie uh, posted it, um, and it's $10. So uh, I do remember buying like two sets or something when I got them a couple years ago. So. Um, Alright, so project number two, kind of down, um, let me see what else we're going to work on. Um, I just haven't really, I've got, okay, so let me show you a couple things that I'm going to be getting to wrap together. Alright, so I, I need another, I need more room, Thor, don't I? Alright, so I have this, then I spray painted. And I have these things that I could put in this one, or I can make this the, um, make this one the ghost. And then I could put these these in here for a design possibly somehow some way. They still, they have these at the at-home store. They're running low, but they still have a few at the at-home store. I got those last year, too. So, what we could make this guy, we could put some mesh in here, put his legs on, his body. We could add some colored mesh to him as well. This guy's in my shop. Kind of makes a cute little skeleton, don't he? <laughs> they look like the dog toys you just got. People use dog toys in Reese all the time. They take out the squeakers or, you know, uh, whatever that's in there. Sometimes, you know, whatever it's it, if it honks or whatever, they take those things out. So what do you think? You think the skeleton should go on the 
longer swag I kind of do. I'm trying to decide what mesh I have. What I want to use on it. Do I want to use this in there? Or do I want to do something different? It took a lot of coats. I probably wouldn't do it again. Um, and because I put gloves on too so that I could spread everything apart and then I still see some area where like there's some light green, but I think it'll be fine. It's, most of it will be hidden by either the mesh or the thing, so. I, I probably spray painted this four times. And three of the times I used um, Rust-Oleum or Krylon. With a pink mesh center. Hmm. Good. What are you eating? Oh, you're chewing on your foot. Okay. That's true. Very true. All right. Well, let me clean up some of this and figure out what we're going to do project-wise. And then I'll be back on. Okay. Let's try and get a couple more projects done. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. You like the skeleton, Sue? Okay.